what what we have in the symbol table so we will see that so each entry each entry in the symbol table is associated with attributes okay that support the compiler in different phases which we have discussed previously right so what are those attributes are these attributes are first is name second is size third is dimension fourth is type fifth is line of declaration so it will store everything it will store all these attributes okay for our code it will also use line it will also store line of usage and it will store address okay so these are the attributes which are associated with the symbol table entries okay so for example suppose we have a name here and type here size here dimension line of declaration <coughs> line of usage and address okay so suppose uh, I store something like uh, Rohan okay and one is age so the type of Rohan is character age is in int so it will store like that size is 4 it will consume 4 bytes and 2 bytes and the dimension is 1 it is for 0 right then we have something uh, line of declaration and where we are using that line of usage and the address so like this it maintains the entries in the symbol table and these are the attributes so these are the attributes clear so these are the attributes and these are the various entries into the symbol table accordingly Here. Now all the attributes are not of fixed size that you have to note down all the attributes all the attributes are not of fixed size okay and the, what is what are the limitations of symbol table so what are the limitations of see now limitations suppose if we fix the size of the limitation suppose if we if we fix the size of the symbol table if we if we fix the size of the symbol table then what are the limitations of that size of symbol table and then what are the limitations if we chosen if we choose small small uh, small values then it cannot store more variables right if we if we choose small values to store then it cannot store more variables right if if we choose the size of the symbol table as small then it cannot store it cannot store more variables right Suppose if we, if we fix the size of the symbol table as small, then it can store more variables if required. And if we choose the size of the symbol table as large, then a lot of space can can go can be wasted, right? If we if we choose the size of the table large and suppose we have few variables to store, then a lot of space will get wasted, right? So a lot of space will get wasted clear so the size of the symbol table should be dynamic enough to allow the increase in the size at compile time so that's what we want we want the size of symbol table to should be dynamic enough so that it can allow the increase in size at compile time okay 
so these are the things you should note now now, now we will uh, study operations on the symbol table operations on the symbol table so what are the various operations on the symbol table so dependent on whether the language is block structured or non block structured we have different operations okay when we when we uh, when we talk about block structured and non block structured so let's first discuss what is a non block structured language so non block structured language which contains only one instance of the variable declaration and its scope is throughout the program okay so let me write it here non block structured language contains only one instance only one instance of the variable only one instance of the variable declaration and its scope is throughout the program throughout the program okay so those kind of uh, language we called non block structures which contains only one instance of variable declaration and the scope of that variable is throughout the program okay so for a non block structured languages the operations are the operations are insert and lookup so these are the operations which is used by the non block structured languages okay and these are the operations which can be which can be performed on the symbol table by these languages non block structured languages they can insert or they can look up the value right so suppose if we have some int i and the uh, and the other lines of code so now we have declared this i variable and there is only one instance of the variable i and the scope of that uh, variable is throughout the program so we can either we can insert the value we can perform the operations and we can uh, look up look up the value right we can read the value you can say so these are the operations which is performed by the non block structured languages on the symbol table okay so now now we will talk about the block structured block structured language block structured language so here the variables may be redeclared variables may be redeclared and its scope and its scope scope is inside that block okay so the variables can may be uh, redeclared we can redeclare the variables and the scope of that variable is inside that particular block in which it has been declared okay so these are called as block structured language for example if suppose we have something like this int i right and other piece of code and then we have other block which is also storing also declaring int i and this so we the variables have uh, the variables we have de redeclared right the i variable we have declared again but in the separate block and it's a scope the this variable scope will be inside this block and this second i uh, integer variable block uh, scope will be in this block right and the operations and the operations operations uh, operations that can be performed by these block structured language on the symbol table will be insert 
lookup set and reset so these are the various operations which can be performed on the symbol table by the block structure languages we can insert the value we can look up the value we can set the value again and we can reset the value as well okay so these are the things which which uh, these are the operations which will be performed in the symbol table okay so basically it depends on whether the language is block structured or non block structured clear now now we will see various implementation on symbol table okay so various implementation will be seen on symbol table 